there's more where that came from. Always there is more. A lot of Wire fans out there. Over the years, it just remains a popular show. People, hey man, just watch second season again. Boom, that's... Yeah. It's been 94 to the, like 19, 18 years since it's been on, 17, 16 years. And it's uh, it's like it's new. It's really yeah. cool. Absolutely. And they, and they call it like one of the three best shows on TV or something like that. Someone have people have said, yeah. I mean, it's a good show. Yeah. It's a great show. Yeah. It's amazing. I had no idea. You know, when I got a call to do that, I was like, no clue what it was who's doing it first few years it was dead nobody it didn't get I, it didn't get nominated I remember I, it was it wasn't even regarded it was completely forgotten the first few years and now like you said it's considered one of the great things television history blah 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 but it was completely disregarded like not I, I don't know exactly what was going on I wasn't into awards and whatever it was being talked about but I remember in New York people were watching it I'd go to the city and people would go hey man yo Vaughn yo Spiros but um, anywhere else it wasn't now worldwide it's it's people watch it yeah so you play this Greek mobster Spiros Vandas Vandapolis and in this scene you had to slit this guy's throat what's that like what do they teach you what you have to do pure, pure joy <laughs> Really? It's, it's part of the job, but I had an idea of what I wanted to do. And, and I was really happy to kill somebody like that because I had been killed so many times. So it's finally, I don't kill that often. I have a lot of deaths. Uh -huh. I don't have that many murders. Huh. Tell so, me when you've been killed. I'm trying to remember which roles you were killed in. Well, there's about 30. 30? Yeah. I've probably done more things with weapons than not guns and knives. So I'm, I'm very comfortable in that in that neighborhood. I've worked with a lot of stunt coordinators, a lot of fight scenes. So I'm very versed in physical, violent drama. I've played these killers and murderers and bad guys for, for decades. You know, it's the nose. It's the nose, Amy. Yeah. Have dinner with me tonight before you go to Santa Fe? You have always been a very attractive man. Thank you. When you started your career, I think that like the roles, like the leading man roles were a lot more generic, a lot more like blonde hair, blue eyes. I think like if you were starting your career today as a 20 year old, I think you would get different roles because I think, you know, there, there, there's more opportunity now for people who don't look. Classically, blue eyes. Square, yeah. George. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's interesting you say that. Um, yeah, I think I also gravitated to the urban street guy. I knew I could do that funny. Look at that guy over there. Holy shit. Look at that fuck. You know, that guy. I'm able to play him. And I did him a lot in early commercials. Coast Soap, which was one of my first jobs. I, the Bugle told me. Hey, I you know how to do that. The Bugle told me. I had a line like Brooklyn guy. So I was, I gravitated to the street guys. I was comfortable more there. So I was the character guy. 